Good news, Max. I think I just gave birth to a bouncing baby hernia. Hiya! Mm. I got it, I got it! Ow! Hello. Yes, Commissioner? Holy cap wearing catfish flopping a crime beat. We're on our way. Did he get the notes I sent him? Yes, but he said to stop carving them into the suspects. He can't read them without his bifocals. What if I just write bigger? Forget that, Max. We're after the most infamous organized crime outfit in the city, the Toy Mafia. The cutthroat killers with no respect for human life but an odd predilection for delightful children's toys? The same. I love those guys! The Commissioner has reason to believe that the Toy Mafia's secret headquarters are located in the one place no one would ever suspect. Teddy Bear's Mafia-Free Playland and Casino. The sallowest place on Earth? Oh, boy! Well, it's not going to be all laughs and dyspepsia, little chum. It's a rescue op. The Commissioner sent an undercover mole to investigate, but he hasn't reported in weeks. Our job is to make contact with the mole and see if he needs help. Is he a large, star-shaped mole, or more of a beauty mark? No idea, Max. To find him, we're supposed to give the code phrase, does the carpet match the drapes? And what'll he say? He'll say, well, I never, and then smack me across the face. Sounds great! Let's do this! Hey guys, welcome back to Sam and Max, the freelance police in The Mole, The Mob, and The Meatball. The brand spanking new episode of Sam and Max. So, we are going to find a mole in a toy factory. Is that correct? Let's Hmm. So let's just look around to see if there's anything the we can box use. Is a happy reminder of a bygone era, specifically last July. Okay. Hello. Yes. Yes. Holy mace wielding Minotaur kings! Who are you talking to? Nobody. Just practicing for next time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I do that too sometimes. Uh, is there something on the TV? Look, Max, the Midtown Cowboys Yay! Rewards. Better get the serious toothpaste! Turn it off! I hate the sound of my voice on tape. It doesn't sound like me. Okie dokie. Little holes, a lava lamp. Max desk. A very disturbed individual sits here. Oh, there's no one sitting there, Sam. File cabinet, old case files, building board. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Jimmy Tutti, fence. It's a sad day when hard-working rodents have to make their living as a freestanding form of enclosure. Uh, I think that's mm. fence in the buys and sells stolen goods sense of the word. Beat it! You're getting in way of my customers! <laughs> what customers? Exactly. What's in here? Cheese? No. No cheese. Hypno Bear. Oh, this that's chart from pile the, uh... of scrap serves as a touching reminder of the fun we had at WARP TV. I've determined that whether for food or for sport, I just really enjoy frying things. Well, that had a camera in it. Are you interested in that? Okay. So no Whee! bowling balls, no boxing gloves, no cheese. Hey, 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 hey! What's that? Ace spades. Uh, stop, stop! Pick it up. Hey, an ace. An extra card up your sleeve and never hurts. Except when the other guy catches you with it and decides to riddle every inch of your body with high-caliber bullets and then dump your mutilated corpse in an empty field. Yeah, except then. There's usually something in the office I could need later on. Uh, but I can't find anything. So, there's usually nothing there. Uh, let's go somewhere. See what happens. It's so exciting. By the way, do you uh, remember to subscribe to this channel yet? If not, go right ahead. 
I don't want to miss the exciting series of Sam and Max, the freelance police do. So let's go over to Bosco, see if he has anything. The Alien Love Rectangle Post. I had oh, no yeah. idea there was such fierce competition among Alien Love Polygon tabloids. The other one. Myra Stump shocks crowd with new hairstyle. Wow, talk about a slow day for news. <laughs> I don't talk about the news, Sam. I make it. Good. Good, good. Gumballs. Hmm, are those... Yep, they've resorted to filling the candy machine with antidepressants. Hmm. How depressing. There it is. Let's go into Bosco's. Happy Snacks Ships. Hey, Bosco. Hey, Bosco. Nice gotcha. Son of Cordon Blue! <laughs> this is uh, Bosco! <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Bosco! No! But you may call me Jean-Francois Sissy Pants, the cowardly <laughs> French anarchist! <laughs> okay. So, Bosco, why'd you get Frenchified? They saw right through my British disguise. I don't know how they did it, but they found me. Who? Oh. The Ooh. Mafia! The Toy Mafia! They've got an in for me! Take a number, guys! So, um... What's the Toy Mafia doing? What manner of nightmarish atrocities has the Toy Mafia committed against you? Nothing. Yet. But I know what they are planning. And it is terrible. Are they planning to Captain tie you Bill. down, tape your eyelids open, and turn on the 24-hour Midtown Cowboys channel? Well, not that bad. I have reason to believe they are planning to deliver something to my star. Huh? Another delivery conspiracy? Another delivery conspiracy? What could a band of ruthless toy mongers possibly want to put in here? I don't know. But it is no matter. They will never be able to deliver anything to my store. Or oh, my name is not Jean-Francois Sissy Pants. But your name's not Jean-Francois Sissy Pants. They don't know that. Uh, okay, what's preventing deliveries? What what's is? keeping the toy mafia from making a delivery? Well, for one, I am watching always. They will never sneak past me. Yeah, just like Wizard couldn't sneak past you. And two, even if they do get past me, I got a fail safe. It's the greatest invention the world has seen since b -tab. I call it the Bosco Tech Anti-Delivery System. What's oh, the okay. acronym for that? Uh, also b -tabs. It is b -tabs <laughs> Part D! <laughs> How oh, does b -tabs Part D work? Test is the anti-delivery camera. It keeps a massive photo recognition database of every inconvenient item I stock. How completely impractical. If anything gets placed in the store that the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the street. Vive la France. Okay, okay. I want to buy something. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. <laughs> What do you got? What do you got? Ooh la la! Behind the counter, I have the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. A device non parel on chocolate. Is huh? that good? Oui, oui. This I call a miniature listening device. It can fit in any cravat under any chapeau. What's it do? Okay. It listens. You can use it to hear secret conversations, no? No. I mean, yes. Uh, give it to me. Okay, senor. Sissy Pants, we'll take that miniature listening device. The price is 10 <gasps> million dollars. 10 million? Wait, is that 10 million in crazy fake French dollars or 10 million in regular dollars? Regular dollars. The market is bearish on crazy fake French dollars. Okay, okay. Okay, never Nothing mind. Right hmm, See? 10 million. Uh, does the carpet match does the, the drapes? Does the carpet match the drapes? No! And you know why? Because the man doesn't want them to! He's threatened by their potential unification! Mm-hmm. Okay. See, see you later, later, Bosco. I know not this Bosco of whom you speak, but if I see him, I shall bid him a reservoir! 
That's too funny. Anti-delivery camera. The anti-delivery camera. Oh, yeah, that's what it says. So sludgy, microwave, nothing new here. Bathroom, I've seen all this before. I don't think there is anything in here for us this day. So we need 10 million dollars. Not in crazy French dollar. So let's take the car and see if we can find someone for the happy price of 10 million dollars. Where are we going, Sam? We are going... Teddy Bears Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Teddy Bears Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Yay! Oh, I forgot to talk to Sybil. Now you can do that next. Hit you. Welcome to Teddy Bears Mafia Free Playland and Casino. That face. <laughs> My name's Lovey Bear. Boy, do we have some fun and games for you. Here, take this token amount of tokens as our way of saying welcome and go spend a lot of money. That sounds not hypnotized at all. You look familiar. Holy domesticated ursins, Max. Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a litter of giant babies? I don't know, Max. Call it canine intuition, but I think our mole discovered something about these teddy bears he shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. You're lucky this mask doesn't have ear holes or I might have heard that secret conversation you just had right in front of me. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Okay. You give tokens to first-time customers, okay? You give tokens to first-time customers? That's right. Go on, enjoy. Live a little. It just seems like bad business sense. Okay, tell you what. 13 hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the VIG, we can talk then about bad business sense. Okay, we'll come back then. Okay. Seen a mole? I hear you have a mole problem. Hey! It's a genetic condition. You <laughs> should have seen my father's back. Holy cow, I'm actually being too subtle. First time that's ever happened. Maybe I should just stick to the code phrase. Does the carpet match the drapes? Does the carpet match the drapes? If Don Ted E. Bear says so, they do. Don Teddy Bear? <laughs> I thought this place was mafia free. That's right, kiddies. 100% mafia free. No mafia anyways. Come on, True. Okie dokie. We're looking for somebody. We're looking for somebody who works here. Look, I just greet the guests. You want to know who works here? Talk to Don Ted E. Bear. He's in charge. Where's the Don? He's got, uh, business in the back room. You know what I mean? Okay. What kind of business? Yeah, the kind of business that gets said like it's got quote marks around it, so's you know not to ask. Ah. Okay. Thanks, Lovey Bear. Enjoy, and remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. Uh, that's a motto. Okay, game, Look, game Max, time. It's a Play a game. Carnival game with a delightful mobster twist. What better way to relax than by offing fake rodents in the most violent way imaginable? No, please supply your own firearm. We okay. always do. Insert token to play. Well, token. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> I'm in pain. These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head, capiche? Now have fun. How can we not? Sounds totally mafia free. Wow, mouse, do as I say, please. Try to win a game. Keep shooting like that, and you'll never make it in the mafia. Okay. Not that there's 
use any mom you hear. Oh, we came 18. up empty. That's okay. It's like mom used to say. Blowing away rats is its own reward. <laughs> A wise woman. So, uh, do we have more tokens? Yeah, I do. So, let's do something else. Disturbing bear heads. I could have that my phone. Leonard. Talk to Leonard. It sounds trustworthy. Now, what do we have here? I'd say the circus was in town. But I know for a fact they won't be here till next Friday. So you must be here to play cards. Depends. Who are we playing? Uh -huh. The name's Steak Charmer. Leonard Steak Charmer. And let's just say I didn't rack up 10 million tokens by getting lucky. <laughs> How'd you get them then? By cheating? Look, Rabbit, <laughs> Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. He's just that good. Okay, what's the game, Steak Charmer? Truest test of skill there is. Indian poker. How do you play Indian poker? How exactly does one play poker at the Indian Persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. You ever consider that we might be card sharks? <laughs> or shark sharks? You know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident? Whatever. <laughs> Look, it's simple. We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. And you make a bet if you think you got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. And we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that, we'd be fools not to play. Okay. Let's play some Indian we'd like poker. To try our hand at a hand of Indian poker. You won't regret this, Hound. By which I mean, I won't regret this. Oh, I'll try any lose. funny stuff with your partner, and I'll shoot you both. That seems fair. Hmm. I smell cheating. I got 10 million tokens says I got a better card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match that. Tell you what, Pooch. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you 10 million to one odds. Just bet one token and you can win the whole pot. Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, deputy okay. dog. Okay. Because I never lose. <laughs> so, in or out? I think we'll fold. Too rich for my blood. Did someone say blood? What? <laughs> I win again. That one was for you, Mama. Okay. Leonard Steak Charmer, huh? You don't look like a Leonard Steak Charmer. Oh, yeah? What do I look like? You look more like a uh, Boris Crinkle. <laughs> That's what everyone says. Okay. So are you a real Indian? So are you a real Indian? Yeah, I'm a wooden Indian. As in wouldn't bet against me if I was you. I'll kill him. Not yet. Okay. How do you get anyone to gamble with you? Frankly, you seem shady. I offer great odds, and I possess a certain subtle charm. I hate to break it to you, but non-existent and subtle are two different things. Maybe charm is a euphemism for gum disease. <laughs> Look, I'm here to play poker. Are we gonna get this dog and bunny show on the road or what? Nah. Does the carpet match the drapes? No, it's stained with tobacco juice. Squalid yet candid. Normally I like that in a gambler. But for you, hmm. we'll make an exception. We'll be That's back. enough for now. Okay. Although I could have sworn you were a dog, not a chicken. A common mistake. Okay, so we have a mirror somewhere. I kind of want to go in there. Hold it, Mugs. Not Mugs, Max. I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. Oh, we need oh a right. Password. That would be what again? Why don't you tell me? 
Does the carpet match the drapes? I don't know. I set fire to the drapes. I love to watch things burn. Hey, me too! I'm sorry I asked. Let us in. Let us in. Only toy mafia allowed in. Not that there's any mafia here. Okay, mm -hmm. we'd like to sign up for the toy mafia, please. Talk to Chuckles. He's the head of mafia admissions. Where's Chuckles? Right behind this door. This is what it would be like if Catch-22 had a meaner older brother. Look, I don't make the rules. I just blindly enforce them. Okay. The password is... Swordfish. Nope. The password is... Rosebud. Nope. The password is... Password. Nope. Hmm. We'll be back. Okay. Like I care. Okay, something else? What are you? A one-armed bandit. Insert token to play. You see that, Sam? It's a little play on the well-known colloquialism for slot machine. The fun just never stops at teddy bears. A one-armed bandit. Insert token to play. Well, okay, we insert token to play. And Sweet Bleary Eyed Gambling Addiction. We won. Yeah, we won, but there's no prize. You gotta hand it to Teddy Bear. He really puts the bandit in one armed bandit. Mm. Hold it. What's the password? You may Okay, okay. I think I know where we put this uh, listening device for ten million that we don't have. Rubber ducky. It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to the okay. toy mafia to make smoking fun. Okay, okay. And what's up here? There's something. That is one shiny nose. Almost mm -hmm. as shiny as yours. Keep it up and you'll get a shiner too. So that's the mirror. Meatball sandwich display. Teddy I want Bear's one of those. Original meatball sandwich. Looks tasty. The original Teddy Bear made this original meatball sandwich with his own two paws in 1957. The microorganisms that give Teddy's modern meatballs their distinctive tang are descended from the colony in this sandwich. Okay, that's it. Okay, so we have the. Can oh, can I? Ooh, can we? Put that there. There you go. Wow, it sticks. Wow, let's play again. Back for a little more public humiliation? Yeah, Just a let's little play. more. Let's play again. Deal. All right. Come on. You have an ace. Yeah. I'm betting all ten million, and you only gotta bet one. So you in or out. We will fold. Fold. I win again. That one was for you, Mama. We want him to get a lower card. Let's play Gee. again. All right. So we can win this game by cheating. Why do you always get aces? I don't want you to have an ace. All ten million. And you only gotta bet one. Okay, so let's try this out. thing one more time. And if we get an ace, oh, let's do something. I else. win again. That one was for you, Mama. I have to fix this. Leonard, you give new meaning to the phrase a face only a mother could love. My mama said I was beautiful. <laughs> uh, okay. Deal. All right. Give him something else. No, still ace. There's something wrong with this. He has to get a lower card so he misbets. All ten million. You only gotta bet one. 
So, in or out? Hmm. Fold. Fold. I win again. That one was for you, Mama. Well, this is we'll be not back. what I want. Just remember to bring your money. Talk Hello to the there, freaky bear head wearing card dealer. Hello, I'm Cuddly Bear. I'm Cuddly Wanna Bear. Play cards? Does the carpet match the drapes? Wanna play cards? <laughs> we asked first! Wanna play cards? Hmm. Hmm. We're looking for someone who works here. Wanna play cards? Oh. Sounds like someone played a game of 52 card pickup and lost. We wanna play We'd cards. like to develop a gambling addiction starting now. Back for a little more public humiliation? Uh, Just a little more. Let's fail one more time. Alright. Don't give him an ace. Why? I have to get him to get a low card. Betting all ten million. You only gotta bet one. Uh, so in or out. I fold. Fold. What I win rubber again. ducky asked for? That one was for you, Mama. We'll That's back. enough for now. Okay. Although I could have sworn you were a dog, not a chicken. A common mistake. Okay, we need him to get lower cards. Can I get that rubber ducky? It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to the toy mafia to make smoking fun. Okay. Like the These rats sign. are gonna pop up, see? If the rat's keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head, cause a mistrial, and win a souvenir magnet. Hmm. Okay, I have to play more games later, but for now, let's do something else. That's a bummer. Let's go talk to Sybil. Sybil! See if she has anything to say today. this let's talk hello Sam hello Max hey it's our favorite short attention span careerist <laughs> this time I have found the job for me I've become a professional trial witness uh, what exactly is a professional trial witness oh it's great we give dramatic testimonies sequester in ritzy hotels and order room service in the name of truth and justice uh -huh. It almost sounds like you're enriching yourself at the expense of this country's overcomplicated legal system. Do you have a problem with that, Mr. Freelance Police? Yeah, why didn't we think of it? Exactly. What led you to decide to become a professional witness? Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times taught me a lot about the truth, you know? The truth is far out there? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then one day I got called for jury duty, and the rest is history. So it's your first case. Do you have your first case yet? No, but I'm waiting for a call from the district attorney. He says he's got something I'd be perfect for. You don't feel uncomfortable getting a case first and then being a witness for it? Not at all. You see, the problem with most trials is that crimes are witnessed by someone who's unprepared for what's going to happen, or who doesn't have sufficient training or skills to accurately remember or relate what happened. With my background and widely varied skill set, I'm perfect. Uh -huh. That makes sense. Should I be afraid? Yes. Probably. Uh. Does the carpet match the drapes? Interior decorating was like eight months ago. I'm a trial witness now. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll be so back, you won't Sybil. give me any help. Bye, boys. Keep one eye on the truth. How do we... What mimograph? Been up any titillating scandal mags lately? No. Uh, tabloid clippings, tattoo designs, cactus. Uh, Is this the kind with aloe in the sheets for extra softness? 
chloroform, actually. Some of my therapy patients used to get a little rowdy. What's in here? Nothing. Nothing useful in here. It's getting late. Uh -huh. Hey, Sam. If it's always getting later and later, then how come it's early sometimes? That's one of the great mysteries, little yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I have often wondered about that too. So, nothing in civils, huh? Nothing at civils. How am I supposed to... Let's go back and play Wacker Rat one more time. See what happens. See if I can. Where are we going, Sam? Time. Teddy Bears Mafia Free Playland and Casino. And if Goody. something happens, I think there's something else. Let's try this. Welcome to Teddy yeah, Bears yeah. Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Step right up, kitties. We got fun and games. So we get another free token. Let's play again. Okay, let's do this. My high school guidance counselor was right. I should have become a mafia hitman. Look, there's the prize! Yay! Oh. As advertised, it's an almost entirely worthless teddy bear refrigerator magnet. What? Hey, let's find someone with a metal plate in their skull and redecorate their forehead. <laughs> oh, Max, you really know how to find the bright side of everything, don't you? Yes, I do. Now let's go shoot something. Did I take it? I did. So, what do I... Oh. Where should we go from Where should here? we go from here? I don't know. If Can all I the help? gaudy lights and chicanery weren't distracting me, I'd say go to where we're least wanted. You mean that back room with the guard and the restricted access? Actually, I meant the kitchen. But your idea is good, too. Hmm. Is that poker guy psychic or what? It's like he can see his own card. I'm sure he just cheats. I would. Uh, How do you win when the other guy cheats? Cheat better? Yep. Heard any good passwords lately? No, but then I probably haven't been listening in the right places. Uh, Let's wallow in casino magic. So what do I do with I've the... I've got a couple of rabbit's feet for luck. Magnet. I'd rather keep it to myself. Uh -huh. So... Nothing here? No? Give me the password. Give me the password. We'll be back. We'll be back. Like I can. Uh-huh. So... Back for a little more public humiliation? Just a little more. That's big. Deal. All right. There's something fishy about this game, eh? How about if I bet? I'm betting all ten million, and you only got to bet one. So, you in or out? I'm in. Let's try it. Sure, we'll bet a token. Huh. Sorry, Fido. You lose. The dog wins. What? I you you cheated me! What are you talking about, Leonard? How did we cheat? You pay up, stick charmer. How Mama. is that? Ace fire. <laughs> you watch it ace. over me? Well, I'm ruined. Wasn't it an ace? <laughs> Let's go, Max. Leonard and his dead mother need some alone time right now. Okay, yeah, I missed something. Yeah, let's go see if we can play Whack the Rats ten million times in a row without passing out. 
or by a listening device. Do I have tokens? I have. So, let's go to Bosco. I didn't read that card right. I thought it was an ace. But apparently it wasn't. So I won. Woo you saw it here first, peeps. Bosco. Hey, Bosco. Uh, uh, uh. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, Monsieur. Monsieur. Give us the listening device. Okay, stinky pants. Here's your 10 million. By the sacred stench of St. Gainsbourg, these are not American dollars. No, but there are 10 million of them. <laughs> well, the prize is that teddy bears can be quite useful. I accept. And in return, I give you the miniature listening device. This is a bug. Precisely. Does this thing really work? Does this thing really work? That answer your question. Now listen up, maggots. I am a bug. <laughs> Drop me in enemy territory and I will get all the information you need. You just make sure to pick me up again and I will repeat every word. Every word. We'll be putting you in some situations that could be a mite precarious. Think you can handle it? I was a nom, boy! You don't want to know what I was a nom, boy! They slaughtered ladybug. Ladybug! And that's not all. <laughs> I've seen them kill. Larvae. Larvae! Huh? So yeah, I think I can handle it. Now I need some shut-eye before the mission. Put me in your pocket. In your pocket! Move, maggot! Sir, yes, sir! Move, maggot! You got yourself a Navy Seal bug. Cool. Now let's go put it on the wall by the password guy. That's the easiest 10 million fake dollars I ever made and spent in under a minute. Let's go put the Where are we going, Sam? Ted E. Bears Mafia Teddy Free. Bears Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Da -da -ding. Okay. Welcome so, to Teddy yeah, Bears yeah, yeah. Mafia Free Playland and Casino. You know what? Home of the losingest slots in town. Losingest? Is too sad. How do we? Okay. So, what's for this rubber duck? It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to the toy mafia to make smoking fun. So I want to do something with the um, this thing. The magnet okay. wouldn't look good there. The magnet wouldn't look good there. Hmm. Well, we'll just have to um, wait until someone says the password. So um, I think. Look at me. I think this will be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.